Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Hello, my name is Ingrid. I am 15, I know I look 12, please don't mention it, it's my insecurity. But the story I will tell for you today does focus on a time in my life when I was around 12. I was just going into middle school. I was just starting to ask those big questions about myself. And when I got to the questions about sexuality, I realized that something was up. So, as I began to realize that I was, in fact, a lesbian, let's go lesbians! I also realized that I was a lesbian with a horrible track record, considering that I had dated two boys and no girls. And even though it was like elementary school dating where you shared chocolate milk, it was still like a point of insecurity for me. So I vowed to my little sixth grade self that before the year was over, I would date a girl. So as I was going through my first year of middle school, I had found kind of my focus. She was pretty and funny, and we had a lot of, uh, we had a lot of classes and extracurriculars together. So, like, throughout the year, I start trying to build this relationship with her. Like, I'm trying to sit next to her in the classes. I'm trying to sit by her at lunch. I'm trying to kind of sit by her before school. We're not really talking yet. I figured that would come after we started dating. <laughs> but this is all building to the moment where I finally make my move. The end of the year dance, which we pretty laughably called prom, considering it was just they turned the lights off in the cafeteria and an eighth grader DJed with a playlist on their phone. <laughs> but I was waiting to make my move that whole year, and when that night came, that accented night, I started it off really well by arriving half an hour early and lurking near the front waiting for her to come. And when she finally did, um, I proceeded to lurk around her, waiting for a moment alone. Um, it finally came. She was out on, like, the dance floor. Uh, so I slid up. I said, hello, would you like to dance with me? I don't think she got that I was trying to, like, have a moment, but the reaction that happened next could best be described as a shitty baking soda volcano. Like, it almost bubbled, but then it just faded out and looked really sad. Because, because I would be generous if I was saying it was 10 seconds before I said, I'm sorry, I have to go, and ran off to the bathroom to cry. When I got home, I wrote a letter. It was a multi-page letter. <laughs> that I gave to her on Monday with a brownie, that the gist of it was, I'm sorry that I'm in love with you. <laughs> she kind of stopped semi-hanging out with me after that. Reflecting back on it a couple years later, I wish that I could say that my record is broken, that I've dated more girls than guys now, but if I had to tell the truth, I would have to say that I still haven't dated a girl. But I think I've learned something even more important, that I don't have to, that even if it hasn't been confirmed, my sexuality is still a part of me that should feel good and not be the source of my insecurity and definitely not something I should write a multi-page letter apologizing about. Thank you all so much.